Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of our uh, Langchain, Mastering Langchain series. And today we are actually going into the meat of what Langchain represents and what Langchain intends to do. So right now what we have uh, learned is that we have learned about prompt template and basically we have learned about LLMs. Now we will start talking about chains. So using an LLM in isolation is fine for simple applications. But more complex applications require chaining LLMs together either with each other or with other components such as tools or output parsers etc. So Langchain provides uh, the chain interface for such chained applications in which one output goes into another input. So let's get started uh, with a simple chain uh, which is the LLM chain. Okay. And uh, yeah. So basically chains uh, are used to link uh, output of one uh, transform to the input of another and they help uh, uh, create sorry create end-to-end -end applications we'll start by learning about LLM chains okay so uh, to use chains first what we'll do is uh, we will import uh, the uh, LLM chain okay Let's import LM chain and then uh, we'll create a prompt using prompt template. So let me just copy uh, the thing from here. So, so template string, uh, let me change this just to give you an idea. Yeah, okay, tell me a, an adjective joke about topic. Let's keep the prompt as same. Right now, what we'll do is uh, we'll create a chain and this chain. LLM chain would link together prompt and LLM and we wouldn't have to refer to individual components later. I'm sorry a lot of sound is coming because uh, there's a cricket tournament going outside but anyways yeah so what we can do is we can uh, let's construct an LLM uh, let, let's first get an LLM the LLM we already have here if you remember, we created this LLM, right? LLM open here. So LLM we already have. Let's create an LLM chain. Now LLM chain would be uh, would take as input. Right? It takes as input an LLM and a prompt template or a prompt. Okay. So यहाँ पे हम इनको prompt template दे देंगे, right? और LLM में हम LLM दे देंगे, right? Sorry. तो हमारी LLM chain बन गई. अब calling an LLM chain is very simple. So you just have to call to so LLM chain dot predict and we have to send adjective and let me also so if you want to see what is going on under the hood we can always uh, set the verbosity of the chain to true so it would now start printing whatever is happening and let me give adjective equal to dark and uh, topic equal to let's say I don't know okay and then let's ask it to predict uh, let me say wow so it has uh, given us the output why did iron man have to get a divorce he found it out a suit didn't come with an arc reactor huh? i didn't get the joke to be honest uh, but yeah <clears throat> this is how llm chains work now what if we want to run the entire chain in a batch so what we can do is we can give it a list of inputs okay let me give it a uh, list of inputs so which would include uh, let's say uh, sorry adjective and topic so adjective it should be let's say dark and topic can be spider-man okay and let's copy it yeah and just replicate it uh, dark is again funny about uh, spice girls and let's talk about not funny and let's instead of spider-man let's say AI okay and then what you can do is you can just simply use element chain uh, dot apply 
and this will basically apply the LLM on this all, all three tokens. Yeah. So how did Spider Man walk into the forest on his webs? Dark joke. I don't know why that is that. What Spice Girl wears the most makeup? Posh Spice because she always looks so spicy. Uh, what did the robot say when the battery died? Oh no, I'm unplugged. Okay. So these are the jokes. I don't know why the quality of jokes are very sad or very bad. But yeah, these are the jokes. I, I guess if you try with GPT-4, the jokes quality would be better. But anyways, yeah. So this is how uh, chains work. And this is the simplest chain. Uh, in the coming tutorials, what we'll do is we'll construct very complex application, entire chatbots. Uh, which have their own memory, their own knowledge in order to uh, and link them together with chains in order to make more complicated applications. Just hang on. You'll understand the importance of chains. Now, after chains, what happens? Sometimes you want to parse this output. Whatever the chains output is coming, we need to parse it in order to make it useful to downstream applications. So for that, we have output parsers. Output parsers. So output parsers, what they do is they parse the output Uh, they pass the output of an LLM and uh, constructs models that can be used in downstream tasks. Okay, so this is how it works. First, again, you have to import uh, an output parser. Let me just take care of this noise. So from langchain dot output parsers import comma separated list parser. So what it does is it expects this parser if there is a comma separated output it will convert into a list. So let me just give you an example. So our output parser parser would be again this one comma separated list parser. Just copy here and yeah. And then our template would be a list all the colors of a rainbow, let's say. And then our prompt would be, uh, uh, sorry, uh, prompt template. This uh, template would be template. Uh, and then input variables would be an empty string. And then we can mention an output parser here itself in the prompt. Output parser equal to output parser. Okay. And then let's create an LLM chain again, uh, which would be LLM chain. Okay. Prompt equal to prompt and LLM equal to LLM. Same as above, LLM chain dot predict. We can either, uh, so LLM chain construction is the same. Uh, LLM prompt and then verbosity is something that we can uh, dive into later. So let's do that. Um, so this was going wrong. I think I, I must have done something wrong here. Oh yeah, I have not uh, correctly written the name of the output parser. Let me just fix it. And then, yeah, so it, it works. Now we can simply uh, use LLM chain dot predict and pass. Uh, uh, remember to use predict and parse here because earlier we were using lm chain dot predict and I will show you the difference between the do those two outputs. So what predict and parse does is it applies that output parser and basically parses the result for you. Basically it has separated the colors of the rainbow which are given in this form essentially and instead uh, given you a list of colors. So that's how uh, uh, output parsers are important. They help us uh, transform the string output into something into a data structure which is which can be which is useful. Uh, for later downstream tasks. So that's all. Uh, in the next video, what we will do is we will dive deeper into some other kind of chains. For example, there are all sorts of chains, sequential chains, transformation chains, and router chains. And this would help us develop uh, uh, our chatbots and other things uh, in the future. So uh, keep watching and uh, subscribe and whatever the YouTubers ask you to do, click on the like icon and subscribe so that uh, it helps me create more content. content and Mention if you want some explanation or some uh, insight into some detailed insight into a particular aspect of the language. So, see you next time.